Hello everybody, I'm J-Man Miner. I'm back here, and today, uh, this, I just, um, recorded a video yesterday talking about the headset that I got, and it just shipped yesterday. Well, it's here early. It, it was supposed to come Monday, but it's here today. This is my awesome new gaming headset. And I also got something for the Doctor Who fan series, the Trans-Temporal Sonic Screwdriver, which I love. So I'm going to do an unboxing of both these things. Uh, I might cut it in two videos, might not. I'll keep it in one video, why not? Anyways guys, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so here we go. I think we're going to start off with the Sonic Screwdriver because I'm really wanting to kind of play with this thing. The headset we'll do next, but first I want to do the Sonic, the Trans Temporal Sonic Screwdriver. The Doctor Who Trans Temporal Sonic Screwdriver. It's got some stuff on the back. I don't know if you guys can read that or not. If you want to read it, you can just pause the video. It kind of talks about... Um, oh, I'll read it to you guys. With the TARDIS trapped on Earth in a transcendental schism, the Doctor finds himself in the center of four time zones. So it's four. So this uh, screwdriver is like four different time zones. Um, this uh, transtemporal sonic screwdriver is also compatible with the customize your own sonic screwdriver kit. And we're gonna get right into building this thing. So, so here's the inst instructions that nobody cares about. We're gonna assemble this thing. So. Um, Here's the uh, different parts. Get around here we go. So here's like the the button. It makes four different sounds. Or no, it makes eight different sounds and a hidden one. And it's really bright as you can see. So we're gonna put the whole thing together. Now first we got the main like the main part. Um, to do the batteries, I believe you can. Yeah, you just have to kind of turn it. You have, to, you have to put, you gotta turn it to get it out, but you can put it in and like turn it to fit. And we're gonna put on the bottom part first, just to kind of. And how the pieces go, you kind of have to get them in there and turn them until they snap. See if I can figure it out here. All right, let's see here. Um, again, I just gotta. This is really weird. There we go. So you, you gotta wiggle it around to get it on. Then once you get it on, you gotta turn it until it snaps. You gotta turn it the other way too, I think. You turn it that way or that way. That's pretty pretty secure. Um, now we want to put on the middle piece. Now this piece actually has the um, the little button on it, so I believe it goes on this this way. At an angle, and once we get it, we get it on sideways, and then you see like, get it on sideways. Now we turn it, so the button is in line with this blue bar there. And then for the emitter, let's get the emitter, the emitter out. Yeah, boom! There we go. Now this part, you gonna kind of want to stick it on here, and get it at an angle. Turn it. Okay, turn it this way. Actually, wait. No. There we go. Turn it till it snaps. It's kind of it snapped, and it's actually once you get it once you get it to snap, it's actually pretty secure. Here it is. I really like this Sonic screwdriver already. Like it's awesome because I'm gonna use it for the fan series. It's not an actual Doctor one. It's like kind of even though it's not mine, I didn't make it, but it's still very custom to my Doctor along with my red Converse and red jacket here. I really like it. It's pretty bright. It makes eight different sounds, so I'll go through them. So it has multiple different sound effects. So it gives me kind of a steam, a steampunk feel, like with this little gauge thing here. And then this is like the modern day, no, this is the uh, steampunk, or the, I don't remember what it was called, something like steampunk era. This is the modern era, this is the Victorian era part, and then this is the futuristic part. It's got th four different time eras, but I really like it, it looks awesome. And I love this part right here, how that lights up, and that. Awesome. 
Cosair Void RGB gaming headset, wireless gaming headset. Here's the front of it, the back. It kind of talks about everything. Like, let's see here. Boom. This is gonna be so much nicer than my old crap headsets up there on the <laughs> monitor. So, inside, once you get the top open, there is a little thing which encases the headset. I see half of it's right here with the mic right there. This is very, very uh, cool. I like the packaging. Um, we're gonna, we gotta just open that part and get the rest of it. I'm not sure why one half of it is wrapped and the other half isn't. There's uh, some, some of that, you know, annoying little uh, wiring stuff that really gets annoying. And, uh, oh, that's why. The, the USB chip is inside this ear, and that's why that's there. Uh, yeah, we gotta get the rest of this thing open, so we can take this bottom, this bottom piece comes out. It's kinda like, it was, it was slid under there, I took it out. Let's see if we can get this box apart, because I want to see how we get this out. Because I see an instruction manual in there, and I think the, um, What you call it's in there too. All right, let's, let's get this figured out. This is a very complicated box. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Can I like just literally just pull this out? Like, does that work? I feel like it should. Oh wait, I got it. We got it. So we can pull this up, and underneath is the cord, the charge cord, and the USB cord. So you can you can plug it in if you want to, but it's wireless. Here's the warranty guide. And yeah, the war warranty guide, there we go. And here's the little twisty thing underneath here so I can untwist that and get the headset free. There we go. And here's some more instruction booklet. Here's the Cosair gaming booklet right here. Um, I'm not sure what's in here. It looks just like kind of instructions or some stuff about the headset, maybe how to install it. Can't imagine it being that hard considering it's just a USB chip. But uh, safety. Uh, here's the. Um, here's another little packet thing that came with it. Oh, this is like. Oh, this one's actually telling you how to like set it up or something. Oh, this is telling you how to change the battery. You can actually change the battery. The battery's inside one of the sides or something. Anyways, we'll look at these things. They look pretty great. So we're going to... I'll put the camera up here now. Now that we got them out, here's the headset. And we're going to... I guess I'll kind of just pull the sleeve off here. Okay, let's see. Rip it off. Use the scissors, trusty scissors. Boom, boom. Boom. Oh man, there's like. There we go, I got that off. And now inside here is the USB chip. This is the this is the chip that goes into your computer. I, it's very interesting how detailed this chip is like it's got this thing on it I don't know what it's there for but it looks kind of cool so we're gonna go with that there is the USB chip um, here's the headset itself it looks like we've got a little thing on it for the headset oh man these are legit look look at this like this I'm gonna be making videos of these things on I gotta get used to it but I think they're gonna be great there's this little rubbery it's actually a very stretchy rubber thing that's holding that on there is the headset. The headset's actually very, um, it's got a rubber casing and you can actually kind of turn it. It's actually more flexible than I expected. Here's the headset and the mic. So we're going to go check these out. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, um, I'll put both of the products down in the description. You can go check them out for yourself. That's name tag still from Leadercast and the shirt. But anyway, you can go check the screw 
Trans Temporal Sonic Screwdriver and the Cosair Void RGB headset down in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Have a fantastic day. Make sure to be you and be awesome. Goodbye. Because I'm pretty sure I, I've become the master of teleporting. Um, pretty much for the most part. And hopefully, if we're lucky, there's a water. So we're gonna go like T. We're gonna go like 200. And we're gonna fall right in that purple water. Oh, it's purple. And there's a slime. I like this island. Should we live on the island? We could. We could live on the island. I'm really thinking about living on this island. Oh, the, what? There's a house down there. Okay, we might live on the island, but we might also live on the house. Uh, in that house. We're gonna go check this place out, though. Oh. Can I jump and not die? Is there any place to jump? I guess I could pull a, uh... I could always try one of those, uh, you know, classic, like... Place the... Place the, um, slime before I land.